Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Sunday Eucharist, we praise and thank our Lord God for being the source of our life, of our strength, and of every blessing that we have received. As we thank Him, we also express to Him our desire to follow Him more closely every day. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, 
let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel Mahola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat. As he was plowing with the twelve yoke of oxen, he was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold my fast, who hold my fast lot. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. 
with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You will show me the fat to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters, but do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus' being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. 
When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We thank the Lord for gathering us this morning, this Sunday morning, to celebrate the Eucharist together. Every Sunday is what we call the Lord's Day. And we believe that it is the Lord's grace that we have gathered here in this church so that we could be together as one family to thank Him for all the blessings that we have received. And at the same time, after thanking Him, every Sunday also is an opportunity for us to renew our commitment, our desire in following Him. Tuwing linggo po na tayo ay nagtutungo sa simbahan, hindi lamang po tayo nagpapasalamat at nagpupuri sa Kanya bilang isang simbahan. Tuwing linggo, tayo rin ay natitipon para panibaguhin ang kagustuhan nating sumunod sa Kanya. And our readings today teach us that when we want to follow the Lord, we must also be ready to give up all that may hinder us in following Him. Yung mga pagbasa po natin sa linggong ito, mula sa salita ng Diyos ay nagtuturo sa atin. Kung gusto niyong sumunod sa Panginoon, kailangan handa ka ring alisin lahat ng hadlang para sundin mo ang Diyos. We see this in the story of the first reading from the first book of Kings the story of the prophet Elijah and the successor that God has chosen for him, Elisha. When Elijah came to Elisha and chose him as his successor, as prophet of the Lord, Elisha performed a very important symbolic act of surrendering everything so that he could follow the Lord unreservedly. Elisha said, let me go home first. So he went home, 
bid goodbye to his parents and the ox that he uses to farm, he slaughtered so that his family could eat. And the plow that he was using for farming, he used as firewood to cook the oxen. What a beautiful symbol of giving up everything, even his livelihood, so that nothing could hinder him from following the Lord. Nagpaalam siya sa kanyang magulang, yung baka na kanyang pang-araro ay pinakain niya sa kanyang pamilya, yung araro na kanyang ginagamit, yun ang ginamit niya na pangluto. A symbol of giving up anything that could hinder us from following the Lord. Tayo kaya? Ready rin ba tayo? Alisin lahat ng pwedeng humadlang para sundin natin ang Diyos? O halimbawa lang, ngayong nagsisimba tayo dito, ilan kaya sa inyo ang nagtetext sa ilalim ng upuan? <laughs> mas kita ko eh, nung nandun ako nag-homily, mas kita ko dito sino ang nagtetext. Kunwari nakikinig sa akin, no? pero nagtetext pala sa ilalim. No? Minsan kasi kapag narinig, naramdaman mo nag-vibrate ang cellphone, parang kating-katika, no? tingnan sino kaya yung nagtext na yan. No? Baka yan na yung kadate mo, no? Nandito na ako sa harap ng Manila Cathedral, no? Usong-uso pa naman ngayon yan, no? Date sa Manila Cathedral, no? Gusto ko sadang sabihin, simba muna, no? Bago date. Are we ready to give up anything that could hinder us? Sometimes, even just one text, you cannot give up while celebrating the Mass. How can we give up many other things for the Lord? Kaya po ngayong araw na ito, kapag sinabi natin sa Diyos, Panginoon, gusto ko pong sundin kayo. Sabi ng Panginoon, dapat handa ka ring i-give up ang mga bagay, minsan kahit mga tao na hahad lang sa iyo para sundin ang Panginoon. This is also the message of Jesus in our gospel today. When people were telling Jesus, Lord, I want to follow you, Jesus said, I do not have any properties. I do not have even my own home, my own bed, my own pillow. Are you also ready to give all of this up for me? When someone said to Jesus, Lord, I want to follow you, but first, let me go back to my family. I have some business to finish, and then I will go back and follow you. Jesus was telling the disciples, Are you ready to give up persons, your attachment to people, that sometimes would hinder you in following the Lord? But in our story today in the Gospel, we will see that the biggest hindrance are not things, are not other persons, but the biggest hindrance in following the Lord is our own attitude. In our Gospel reading today, we see the story of the two disciples, James and John. When they were passing through a Samaritan village, they were not welcomed. And so in their anger and hate, they said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire? from heaven so that it will consume this village and Jesus rebuked them. 
maybe Jesus realized it is not properties, it is not persons who hinder the disciples in following Him, but their own attitude. Hindi pala gamit, ari-arian, o kahit ibang tao ang humahad lang sa mga alagad para sumunod sa Kanya, kundi ang kanilang sariling pag-uugali. They were able to give up their homes. They were able to give up their families. But they were not able to give up their own attitude. Sometimes, my dear brothers and sisters, we realize that the most difficult thing to give up is our own attitude. Kaya nga minsan sasabihin natin, Lord, sige, kunin mo na yung kayamanan ko. No? Madali yan i-give up. Kunin mo na yung oras ko. No? Kaya kong i-give up yan para sa'yo. Ah, pero Lord, wag mong gagalawin ang attitude ko. No? Ganyan na ako. No? Hindi ko kayang baguhin ito. Ganyan na ako. Jesus tells us today, He wants us to give up our attitudes that would usually hinder us in following Him. We see this in our second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. In his letter to the Galatians, St. Paul said, You were called for freedom, brothers and sisters, to serve one another with love. But he said, But if you go on biting and devouring one another, you will consume one another. Parang ang ganda po pakinggan sa Ingles. Tatagalugin ko po sa Tagalog translation nito sa Misa. Sabi ni San Pablo, Pinalaya na kayo ng Diyos. Pero, sabi niya, kung kayo'y magkakagatan at magsasakmalan na parang hayop, ay hindi rin ninyo sinunod si Jesus. Nagkakagatan at nagsasakmalan. Parang mas masakit pakinggan sa Tagalog ang sulat ni San Pablo. Noon pa man, panahon pa man ni San Pablo, ang mga Kristiyano nagsasakmalan at nagkakagatan na. Anong ibig sabihin? Nagsisiraan, no? nag-aaway, bangayan. Sabi nga ni San Pablo, madalas ang humahad lang sa pagsunod natin kay Jesus ay ang pag-uugali natin. Kaya sa linggong ito, siguro sasabihin natin, Lord, Binigay ko naman ang isang oras ko sa iyo ngayong linggo na ito. Nagsimba ako. Lord, nag-donate naman ako. Binigay ko na ang aking tithing para sa iyo. Ang sabi ni Jesus sa atin ngayon, ayoko niyan. Ang gusto kong i-give up mo, yung masamang ugali mo. Para maging mas malaya ka, sundin ako. So, this Sunday, let us try to look what are my bad attitudes that I find difficult to give up and tell Jesus to help us give that up. Alam niyo po, napapansin ko ngayon isa sa mga nakakabahala na attitude, lalo na sa mga kabataan, Nandito yung mga kabataan ng uh, tulay ng kabataan, no? Nakinig kayo mabuti. Napapansin ko maraming kabataan ngayon ang nahihilig magmura. Oh, tumatango yung mga magulang dito at nakatatanda, no? Bakit kaya? Oh, tek bago kayo tumango, baka naririnig sa inyo, no? <laughs> mga nakatatanda sa atin, no? O kaya Baka napapanood kasi sa YouTube, no? napapanood sa social media. Minsan, pati mga vloggers, mura ng mura. Kaya bata pa lang, 
nagmumura na. Hanggang pagtanda, nagmumura. At darating ang panahon, pati magulang nila, minumura na nila. At darating din ang panahon, baka pati Diyos, minumura mo na. Huwag mong sasabihin na, eh ganito na ako, kapag hindi ako nagmura, hindi na ako yon. No? <laughs> hindi mo pwedeng sabihin yan. No? Madalas yan ang ugali natin. No? Hirap na hirap tayong isuko yung pag-uugali. Pero sabi nga ng mga pagbasa ngayon, yan ang dapat isuko sa Diyos. Ang ating masamang pag-uugali. Nang sa gayon, ay mas maging malaya tayong sundin ang Panginoon. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, we again profess our desire to follow God with our whole lives. Let us be ready to give up attachments. Attachments to things, attachments to persons, and most especially, attachments to our attitudes that may hinder us in following God. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us make our prayers of intercession as part of our pilgrimage of faith, following Christ to that eternal Jerusalem, our promised inheritance. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For unity and peace within the Catholic Church on earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For true liberty among the different peoples and nations of the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who make weak excuses to escape the demands of faith in God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For courage, in following our Master, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the eternal salvation of the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, never let us look back or hesitate as we journey towards the kingdom. May these prayers for others strengthen us in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Oh, 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh 
Please all stand. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this celebration of the Holy Mass, especially for pilgrims who may have come from different places within Metro Manila and even outside Metro Manila. Salamat po sa pagdalaw niyo po sa amin dito sa Manila Cathedral. And you are always welcome home in our Mother Church. We would also like to thank all those who are watching us through the online broadcast of this Mass in the different media outlets and in social media. And we are also thankful and very happy that our 8 a.m. Sunday Mass can already be watched live on a uh, free TV through the DWIZ, IZTV channel. Uh, you just need to rescan your TV boxes and you can watch our 8 a.m. Sunday Mass through the IZTV channel. Nagpapasalamat po tayo sa DWIZ at sa kanilang bagong channel na mapapanood na po ng live sa television ang ating alas 8 ng umaga na misa ng linggo mula dito sa Manila Cathedral. We thank all of you who have joined us through the broadcast of this Mass even on television. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God 
bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, 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 Maria,